everyone, it's Mari here for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be using a bunch of different products today, including the Love and Luck Potion Jars Stamp and Coordinating Die Set. I'm going to combine that with the Love and Luck Potion Labels. I love this stamp set, set so much. It's got some really fun labels, but it also has some other really cool uh, patterns like these hearts and the stars, that little dandelion pattern, some little flourishes, really fun. I'm going to also use the foiled fluttering hearts hot foil plate and I'm going to coordinate all of these with the love a2 cover plate die which is really fun for creating a background for your project. I'm starting off here with the honeybee intense black ink. I've inked up my stamp here and I'm going to stamp that out onto some white cardstock so that I have the image of this beautiful bottle all stamped out. It's I love that it's kind of a heart shape. It's so pretty and I'm going to do a little bit of Copic coloring here and this didn't really have to be very precise or perfect because it's most of it's going to get covered up by the label that I'm going to be using over top. But I just wanted to create just this little bit of impression of some blue glass. So I'm just using some flicking motions with my B0000. And now I'm coming in with a darker blue here and just adding a little bit of an overlay over top of that lighter, just in that shape of that heart shape bottle. And again, just using that flicking motion and it's really basically going to get covered up so I wasn't too worried about how perfect it looked I just wanted that little bit of an impression of some blue in the background and I wanted to just make sure I have a little bit of that light and dark blue on the top and the bottom of the bottle as well I'm going to do a little bit of heat embossing so I took my anti-static powder tool and ran that over top of the stamped image. Now I'm going to take the little star stamp or one of the little star stamps from the uh, Love, Potion, Love and Luck Potion label set and I'm going to just stamp that out on each of the sides of this bottle and I'm going to use some Wow Clear Sparkle Embossing Glitter just to create a little sparkly kind of an image on each side of the bottle just to add that little bit of sparkle and shine detail. I've also stamped out one of the other little labels from the Love and Luck Potion label set that says Stardust and I've heat embossed that with gold embossing powder and that is going to provide the label for the front of that blue glass bottle. I'm going to use one of the dies from the Love and Luck Potion Jars dies and that's just going to cut that out in the shape of a label. I'll just run that through my Bitty Buzz Cutter here to die cut that out and that's just going to be the perfect shape for the front of this bottle here. I'm just going to fold up this little wonderful die cutting machine and get that little label ready to go. Now before I put that onto my jar I am also going to do a little bit of ink blending on the edge of this label. I'm not sure if I do that now or later here I'm just showing it to you. Yes I'm going to do that now so I'm just using a little bit of tumbled glass distress oxide ink and a little um, ink mini ink blender here and I'm just adding a little bit of that blue ink to the edges of the label. I also want to show you here that gorgeous fluttering heart um, hot foil plate here. I've hot foiled it onto some white cardstock with just a really pretty iridescent shiny um, foil. I've die cut out that A2 Love cover plate from the shiny um, foiled paper and I also did that with just some blue cardstock. Now how pretty is that? I love that hot foil plate with those hearts and that beautiful foiling. I'm just going to go ahead and add that onto my top folding A2 size card base. I'm just going to use a little bit of my Honey Bee liquid glue here to add this onto the card base and just a little bit around the perimeter and then a little bit here and there on the inside of the card as well. I'll just hold that up so that it's nice and straight on that card base and make sure that that is all nice and straight before I give this a really good press and just making sure that I don't have any glue oozing out and all that kind of good stuff. Here you can just see I'm just going to give it just a little bit of a press on the edges and then I'll put it down flat and just put my hand on it and add a little bit more pressure until that's glued down. Now I'm going to take the off cuts of the blue cardstock when I die cut out this A2 cover plate from the blue and I'm just going to go ahead and inlay those blue letters into the openings on the foiled paper so that we just get this really pretty inlaid uh, pretty color cardstock. I love this color cardstock. It's um, 
uh, cardstock from Spellbinders. I forget the name of it, but it's just that really, really light blue. I love it. I think it's so pretty. And I'm going to take the time to fill in all of these different letter openings with these different letters, but I'm not going to show it all because it's just the same thing over and over again. But I do use each one of those letters. And then, of course, I'm going to inlay the center of the O's as well. And there you can see that really pretty little finished bottle. I tied a little bit of gold twine around the top and tied it into a little bow. And you can just see how pretty that label is on the front of it. Now I'm just going to pop up this bottle onto the front of my card and that is going to finish off my card. I did link up friends to all of the different products that I've used today for this project in the description box below. So you can go ahead and check out those links if you're interested in shopping any of these products in the Honeybee shop. I hope you enjoyed this today and I hope you were inspired and I will see you again next Friday for another project. Have an amazing day friends. I'll see you soon.